Hello and welcome to Coming Home with Mama T. I am your host, Tiara, aka Mama T. And on this podcast, we explore the journey of creating the life of our desires through mastering manifestation, maintaining a positive mindset, and living luxuriously. So today, I want to talk to you about little phrases like, the struggle is real. Um, Because it is. The struggle is real when we make it real. Honey, (laughs) I woke up this morning. I was up at like 4.45 this morning. Why? I don't know. It is becoming a thing. I don't know. Um, I feel like the world gives us ebbs and flows, right? So there are some days where it's just like, you know, weeks actually, where it's just like, I just want to sleep in. I just want to cozy, like cozy up. I don't want to do anything. Like I want to like be productive within like an eight hour window. And then there are some days where I'm like, I'm up, I'm ready. Let's go. And like the energy lasts for like 24 hours. I don't know. So, and I'm okay to just go with it. Right. And there lies what we might say, the struggle because if we don't allow ourselves to just go with it, (laughs) use the energy when we have it, and then uh, rest when we need it, when we don't have that freedom for ourselves, then we have the opportunity in our minds to create struggle. Notice I said the opportunity in our minds. Words are worlds here. Our minds are such a powerful thing. Because a lot of times, the struggles that we are perceiving in our minds are just the struggles we are perceiving in our minds. I know that I speak from a very privileged space. Like, I got a piano behind me. I got like 200 bottles of wine behind me. Obviously, I'm not really want needing for anything yeah I'm wanting for things we all want things there's nothing wrong with wanting and having and desiring things for our life experience to bring us more joy and excitement and fun but basic necessities not really need like I'm good (laughs) obviously I'm good so I understand the perspective that I have and I understand that it is a privilege to be in this space I am very privileged I am very blessed to have the situation that I'm in to be in the space that I'm in to have the connections that I have to have the opportunities that I have I see my privilege and I am thankful for it I think sometimes we create a struggle by being like oh no well like I am now privileged, so I can't ha- I can't be upset about things. I can't da 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 da. That's creating a whole new struggle for yourself. So, like I said, it's in the mind. Yes, I understand that. I don't have to fight as hard as someone else who might not even have access to clean water or um, access to roof over there. I don't have to necessarily work as hard to get towards where I need to go. So I don't have to struggle as her I I witness that but I also want to make a point that when we look at our lives right because inevitably there's this interesting dichotomy here right there is the actual physical struggle that we can see where people that are less fortunate than ourselves are dealing with big T traumas big issues that need extra support and help from outside sources on oftentimes right like sometimes you just can't pull yourself up from that space but then you know sliding over to people that have right we're in the haves space that aren't necessarily you know having these huge traumatic experiences we still tend to create a space within our minds of detriment we need to master the mindset right that's what we're here for we need to be able to really look at the facts of life the facts of life shouldn't have had nick at night as a child (laughs) we need to look at the facts of life (laughs) now i'm like trudy Anyways, 
or two what, what was her name Tootie? yeah was that it um brain <laughs> going all over the place laugh it's fun it's this is conversation's not meant to be uh, that like heavy right this is a perspective that I would like to share with you because when we look at the facts of our life right you know a lot of times we get into this place of like formulating an opinion and we say opinion as a statement of fact and then we get in our minds that this is actually like a fact and we don't realize that it's not <laughs> It's opinion, right? Like I could say to you, if you don't call your parents, you are a horrible child. You are a horrible daughter, son, however you identify. You are a horrible person, right? And I can say it and I can say it with all confidence and I can say it. And at the end of the day, like if you believe it, that becomes your perspective and your fact. But it's, it's very much an opinion. Very much so. So... We have to really discern what's going on in our life and what is actually true. What is true for you so that you can continue to move forward and do the things that actually bring you the joy, bring you the fun, bring you the money, bring you the lifestyle that you're looking to live out. We don't have to live up to any expectations of anyone outside of ourselves. I say it all the time and I'll say it again. We don't have to live up to any expectation that is outside of ourselves. I know like <laughs> it feels hard when we think about like, I know for myself, I grapple with this all the time where it's just like, okay, well, I know that if I believe in this, this, and this, if I, if I really sit down and I think about it and I look at my life, I know that, you know, while my bank account doesn't look the way I want it to look, while my love life doesn't look the way I want it to look, while uh, my body doesn't feel the way I want it to feel, these are the things that I could say I'm struggling with. I could just look at it like, okay, well, this is where I'm at and this is where I want to be. And that's a fact. That that that's that's the that's the tea. There's no wrong or right about it there there's no yes or no this is just this is the black and white of it i want to be i'm here and i want to be here and now let's just bridge the gap i clicked my mic so i'm sorry about that <clears throat> let's just bridge the gap and make it that simple make it that simple because then when we pile on oh well like it's so hard to find a man is it is it really that hard i live in los angeles i can walk out i bet you it's 6 30 in the morning in the morning i bet you if i just walked outside there's a man standing there right like somewhere like i don't have to go far i probably could find one in the elevator so is it gonna be the right one maybe maybe not who knows but the point is that when we say certain things, we create a struggle for ourselves. So going back to that phrase, the struggle is real, because let's be real, I say, I've said it so many times. And when these little funny things that become a part of our cultural experience, it becomes a part of our psyche, our subconscious, it becomes a part of our actual belief structure and experience. And so we have to be like thoughtful about how we perceive, how we look at our experience. Because one of the things that I'm really noticing in our life, in our community, we come across so many people, and by we, I mean me, myself, and I. I don't know about what's going on in your life, but I know in my life, I have come across so many people, and I'm talking to them, and we're having great conversation, and inevitably, we come to this space of like, this is what's going wrong in my life. This is what's going wrong with my life, you know? And it's such a societal norm to kind of like, try to like one up each other or uh, just live in this space of discontentment. And I really want to force us to move to a space of contentment and even further to a space of celebration because the more we're in a space of celebration, the more we, see the world in a factual way of how actually magical 
It really is. And we're going to talk about magic in another episode, but it's freaking amazing. And I am catching myself so much more lately. Now that I've brought like an awareness to it, I'm catching myself so much often where I'll like go out and I'm hanging out with my friends and we're doing whatever. And all of a sudden we get into this conver I get into a conversation with this person about like, well, we need to fix this and we need to do this and we da -da 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 -da. and while I'm excited and yes, I want to create a change, I'm coming from it at a place of like, of struggle rather than a place of like enlightenment. What's the difference? The place of struggle is this this place of desperation. You can feel there, there's a different energy about it. It's this place of like, everything is going wrong for me and I just need to change. <laughs> I'm sorry, like I'm trying to be like somewhat quiet, but it's, it's just not gonna happen. Like I said, it's 6.30 in the morning. God knows who's awake right now. <laughs> sorry, roommate. Sorry, the world around me, um, but you need to hear it. So here we are. It is just a different kind of energy. Now I said the enlightenment energy is, it's more like divinity, right? When I think of being enlightened, it's like a message from God, source, the universe, from our higher selves. It is this like tingling feeling in our bodies. Uh, I know for me, whenever I get like really excited and I have these thoughts and I'm I'm bringing up great conversation, I can feel it in my body. Especially when I'm uh, like when I'm talking to you here in the podcast forum, I can feel my body being like ignited with this like tingling sensation, this this magical life force moving through my body because I am connected to the words that are coming out of my mouth and I just believe in it and I'm ready for it and it's like rocking and rolling and it's like deep yeah it's not just like robot you know movement just going through the motions trying to force a situation to happen it's it's ingrained it's like it's I'm thinking like I'm trying to like think of like an electrical ex like thinking about it as like okay like maybe the robots plugged into the wall like it, it has it has its like power pack you know you got your you got your laptop I think that's a great example so you have your laptop right and when it's disconnected it has a certain amount of power right and then it gets to like 20% and then it might naturally like lessen the amount of light that it has it might do some things to kind of put it in like a power saver mode and then you connect it to a power source and it's like Wah! and it's like back to full brightness back to like it all in so like you can unplug it and it, it works fine and it's doing what it's doing it's got its job it gets to a point where it's de starting to deplete and then you gotta like light it back up so the the like plugging it back in that's that enlightenment right that's the the like power pack it's it's the the spinach for Popeye like literally just like turn out turning it on and ready to rock and freaking roll so how do we work from a place of enlightenment, a place from letting go of the struggle as the catalyst for our actions and really focusing on the, the enjoyment, the gratitude, the celebration, the fun moving us forward? Yes, it's simple as a mindset shift, really. Like, it's not a struggle. <laughs> really it's not a struggle i think so often we try to make it so hard and that's kind of when where i came through when i made um, my mindset meditation series um the the activate your inner shift my meditation series and it i remember discussing it with my coach and talking about like okay this is what you know this is where I want to go with my business. You know, I want to incorporate more healing aspects, you know, and I'll talk more about healing later as well. But like, I want to incorporate more of this work that I really love doing and I tend to find myself just naturally and I want to bring the, incorporate more of it. And we were thinking about ways to present it. And, you know, at first it was like, okay, like let's make this, this product that has like 10 things and da, 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 da. and I already felt like as we were talking I was like this feels like a lot 
<laughs> like I, I I'm I'm a girl for like the simple things. Like everything is easily easy and effortless for me. Like I I am soft life baddie. Like let's let's get it. Let's be bougie. Let's enjoy. Let's luxuriate. Um, and it's not about like the amount of work it would have taken. It just like it felt like to meet a number just to meet a number is meeting a number. Like there were like if you get to a place where you just feel like it's met it's met so like i'm recording i'm doing the things like and i'm like dude i got like four steps dude like it's not it's not that complicated right my shifting our mindset doesn't have to be that complicated it doesn't have to be a 12 14 45 step situation it doesn't have to be a 450 page self-help book that tells you that you actually need to come to an in-person event to truly get grasp the understanding of all of these pages like it doesn't need to be that hard it doesn't need to be a struggle it doesn't need to be a struggle to live and that is the message that's the post as they say <laughs> it, life is easy when we make it easy life is a struggle when we make it a struggle so if you're like okay well how do i shift my mind how do i start to believe in my experience being positive and happy and luxurious and wonderful how do i hold that energy and maintain that energy honey i got you <laughs> first we have the um the, sh the series that I was just talking about, right? Um, as I am getting the website like done and ready to rock and roll, that's one of the things that's going to be available to you and it's free. I'm super excited for it. So definitely be on the lookout, www.mamateenergy.com and the Activate Your Inner Shift Meditation Series. That's going to be a space that's going to give you a nice little workbook, things to think about, as well as meditations, guided meditations to work you through. And you can use these meditations over and over and over again as you see fit. Because let's be real, life is a journey and there's not a really an end to it except for death, right? <laughs> so we are constantly growing, expanding and learning. We are constantly thriving and, and growing. Like it's just, it's a constant and never ending knowledge what is it they're never the constant and never ending improvement i think this was someone's can i i think is the the concept constant and never ending improvement so if you are of the mindset of always wanting to deepen your connection to self uh always wanting to thrive and remember we're removing the struggle right so when we think about like oh i'm always growing and expanding and learning and and thriving i'm thriving i'm thriving i'm thriving reminder that you're thriving you're thriving in the now and also the you for the future is going to be even better because you're continuing to thrive yes we're not creating oh well i'm not where i need to be so now i'm a str i'm struggling because i'm not there like no we're thriving in the now there there's Two difference it's it's the detrimental or the enlightenment like we're choosing the enlightenment side yeah so mindset activate your inner shift meditation series check it out full free and then of course the maintenance the maintenance honey that is going to be the home membership and you know i've grappled with like how i want to call it what do i want to call it and i'm still like no i want it to be home like you're coming home with mama t and this is the home space the home space uh, it's going to be held on Facebook. It is a Facebook community. Um, you can purchase. Uh, it, it, there is a energetic exchange, if you will, in order to be a member. I'd love that you come and watch this and listen to this. But hey, your girl's got it. Like we live in a society that requires money. So here we are. <laughs> In order to, for me to be able to continue to grow and expand and do more of this full time, we gotta we gotta get some green in. So, it's a very economical price, and you can think of it as like a virtual wellness center for your mind, your body, and your spirit. We're going to have group coaching. We're gonna have healing sessions. We're going to have. Um, journaling prompts we're going to have some movement some recipes bringing in some of that magic all sorts of good stuff so it's all nourishing for your mind your body your experience 
<laughs> your spirit, but also your experience. So it's going to be a safe space and I'm really excited to be opening that up and launching all of that. So keep an eye out, uh, make sure that you've turned on your notification bells and all that good stuff. And remember sharing is caring. So share with friend, family member, I don't know, three people that you think would be really inspired and enlightened by this message. And I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.